Hi, and welcome to Windows Live Movie Maker. You can think of this as a get to know you tutorial to understand the different features of Windows Live Movie Maker. Real quick, let's start with the storyboard. Over here it says, drag videos and photos here, or click to browse for them. So the moment I click, it's going to open up a Windows Explorer tab, allowing me to search for my photos and video. I click on some of those and open it up, and immediately I'll be able to see all the video content and photo content that I just entered. Over here is the preview window. As I move through my movie, using the preview bar to see this, I'm able to actually see the different content as the photo and videos progress. Up here you'll notice a couple different tabs. Each one of these tabs is a part of the larger content called the ribbon, allowing you to easily access the information and tools you need in order to make your movie successful. One of the first things you'll notice up here is this button called Add Videos and Photos. So you saw I did it down here in the storyboard. You can also add videos and photos here, also allowing you to add video and photo at a later date. For example, now. I click on this, go to Videos, click on a video, for example, let's say Skate, and it's put into my movie. The other thing you'll notice is a button called Add Music. If I was just to click on that, it allows me to add any song of my choice right from the beginning, or if I undo that, I can add music at a current point, say the slide or video that I'm selected on, down here. So let's try that. Ta-da! And like anything else on the storyboard, I can move that around to any point in the movie I'd like. A couple other features you'll notice are the ability to add a title, captions, and credits. This button is called Auto Movie. I've already added a song, but let's just remove it for this example. Delete. If I click on the Auto Movie button, it's going to ask if I'd like to add music. Of course I would. I add that same song, and automatically Auto Movie will add titles, effects, captions, opening credits, and ending credits, as well as fit my content to my music. Wonderful. Not only that, but I can also play with the audio mix, so I can listen more to the actual editing on the content, or I can listen more to the music I just added. If I was to go to animations, there's a great new feature called Live Preview, allowing me to hover over any of these transitions to see what it looks like in real time. I can also do that for visual effects. Under the View tab, we have a couple different options. If you'll notice the storyboard here, I can change the thumbnail size from extra small to medium to extra large icons. Personally, I prefer the small icons. It allows me to see a lot of the storyboard while still seeing a lot of the preview pane. I can also choose my aspect ratio from standard 4.3 to widescreen 16.9, depending on the output I'd like to have. Under video tools, there's a couple different options here as well. If I click on a video, say for example I'd like to edit that, I can click on the trim tool and use the live preview bars to find the spot in the trim or the movie that I'd like to edit to. Once I find the spot I'm happy with, I click on Save Trim. And for example, if I was unhappy with the edit I just made, I can go back into the Trim tool, not lose the original trim I just had, make as many edits as I want, and click Save Trim again. Wonderful. You'll also notice a couple other things, such as the Fade In and Fade Out volume feature. For example, in my movie, I've chosen to use Fade In Medium, which means the music and sound that's in the background of this video clip will fade in at a medium pace. I can also choose Fade Out. This works the same under music. For example, this soundtrack that I have here, I can choose to fade in slow, medium, or fast, as well as fade out slow, medium, or fast. There's also a feature here called Split. So at any point in my entire movie I want to, I can click on the Split feature, and it splits that song at that exact point, and I can move it around just like any other piece of content to anywhere else on that page. If I wanted to, I can also go back to my home page, click on Add Music at a Current Point, and add another song. It's that simple. So I've shown you the basic features of Windows Live Movie Maker, but what about sharing? With Windows Live Movie Maker, we give you a lot of options for that as well. For example, in three clicks, you can upload your entire movie to YouTube. Or, with extensible plugins, such as the Live Upload, you can share your video to Facebook. We're also the only free application that's a video editing software that allows you to save your movie in high definition 1080p. Let's take a look at the Save Movie feature. Here I showed you before, you can save your movie in high def 1080p, you can burn it to a DVD, all the way down to standard definition for a portable device or mobile phone, such as a Zune or Windows mobile device, or for a size that's great for email or instant messaging. So that's Windows Live Movie Maker for you. A quick tutorial to get you started. If you have any questions, go to windowslive.com WAC Explorer.